Hey guys, it's Moody here, and I wanted to make a video based on three um, uncovered Pokemon. Apparently, someone managed to hack into the game. At least that's what Cerebi says, and I tend to get most of my information from Cerebi. I'm not saying that it is confirmed, because it still clearly says it's unconfirmed, but I feel like it's interesting information that some of you might or may have not known about. So... Um, and three Pokemon are a Deancey, a, uh, Volcanion, and a Hoopa. Honestly, the Hoopa one comes off as the most underwhelming legendary event Pokemon probably ever. I cannot see this thing as an event Pokemon at all, but, I mean, apparently it is, but even if these aren't real, they're still... Like, honestly, I don't know if I even believe them because they just come off as such underwhelming event, event Pokemon. However, the main thing that I wanted to discuss is that the fact that they're able to just release Pokemon just, you know, through mystery gift like that, I think is a really good thing because maybe down the road they might they might release another Pokemon with, um, like a Mega Stone. Like a Pokemon we haven't already seen yet, just like they did with Torchic. They might release another Pokemon later down the road with like a Mega Stone that we haven't seen yet. Like they have the ability to do that, which I which I think is really cool. Like they ha they have the ability to implement Pokemon later in the game as it goes on. So I feel like it adds to the longevity of the game if they're gonna keep um if they're gonna just wait a while before. Uh, letting us actually have access to these Pokemon because honestly like if we started hacking Pokemon now and just found everything out all at once I feel like the game would get pretty stale pretty quick so I'm glad at least we we don't get everything all at once so if things like this can happen or like DLC things because people have mentioned DLC as well being a thing um I wouldn't mind DLC for Pokemon, but honestly, I feel like that's a controversial topic uh, because some people I know are against DLCs. I personally would welcome it. I don't mind spending a couple more dollars to get some, I don't know, another Pokemon with a Mega Stone or a Pokemon that I don't have yet. And I'm, I fully support Nintendo on that if they intend on doing that. So that's my opinion on DLCs. And then I wanted to show you the Latios, apparently Mega Form, and... Uh, Latias mega form, which, um, first of all, if you look at it, it's literally almost the same image, which is why I'm kind of like, eh, what, a, why, like, it's almost pretty much the same in image, <laughs> but if that happens to be a mega form for it, I'd be very, I'm not sure how I'd feel about that, honestly, it looks like an airplane to me. And I don't really see any variation within, apparently, these two. So it may as well be fake. We don't know. But regardless, I think it would be cool if they can just release Pokemon like that into the game. I think that would be really, really awesome. Um, you guys can let me know what you think. Honestly, this is just my opinion on it. I wanted to talk about this because I have been thinking if they can release things into Mystery Gift as easy as they can with Torchic, then in the future they might want to do that more and we might have access to more Pokemon than just the ones that we saw, uh, the, the ones that we have now is what I'm trying to say. So you guys can let me know what you think about these. I mean, it's just, it's just, um, a little Pokemon type thing I wanted to bring up that some of you might be interested in or you haven't, uh, you haven't had the time to like check out, but with that, uh, as always, I love you guys, and have a fantastic day. Bye!